Hello everyone, my name is Ian Smith and over these lessons I'm going to be going through the process of creating a detailed height field colour map which you can export as a texture and then bring into Unreal to overlay across your landscape material. We're going to be going through quite a few different techniques. First of all we're going to be creating different masks which we can then layer together and combine to create the colour map. So we create various different masks, which allow us to build this color map. It allows us to bring in each of these layers, specify color, and then build these up until we get um, the starting point for our color map. We'll then move on to creating a few different extra digital assets that we can use to adjust that detail to the color map. So that will include this height field color adjust node, which allows us to um, adjust various parameters, hue, saturation, brightness, and gamma. So we can use this to make changes. But then we'll also be able to use this with a mask input so that we can color adjust different areas to begin to add extra detail. So here I have a mask input, and so I can just choose to darken certain areas. And in this case, I've created a digital asset, which combines three different occlusion masks together. And then by layering these together, we can create uh, a bit more of a detailed and complex occlusion mask. We have the options to remap and adjust this, increase the intensity, and then I'm using that as an input on this height field color adjust. And then I'm going to create another mask digital asset. This I've called texture mask, and this creates this quite nice texture detail. And this is combining a slope mask, a curvature mask uh, with a noise mask. And we'll be able to create parameters that can adjust the influence and then the size of the noise texture. And then we've also created some additional parameters down here, which can distort the height field using a noise. And this kind of really adds some extra breakup, but then also an option to distort by layer. So here at the moment, I, the control layer is the height, and this kind of allows me to slump that noise go down the landscape, or I can choose to push it up the landscape, and this just kind of helps make it look a little more integrated into the landscape. And then again, I'm using that with the high field color adjust node that we're going to create to add some more detail to the landscape. So this really starts to help break up some of those flatter areas and add extra detail. And then once we've done that, once we've created all of these different nodes, we're going to export the color map, export the height field, and then bring those over to Unreal. And here's the final result inside of Unreal. So we have tiling textures, but then over the layer of the top, we have our color map, and that starts to add some extra bits of breakup to the landscape. So rather than having this kind of area of flat grass, we've got some extra kind of colored detail to help break up any tiling textures. I will go through the basic setup of this Unreal material, this landscape material. I've also created a few functions to help us um, get started, and I'll have those functions included inside the project files. So if we just take a quick look at the project files of what you'll have to get started with. So, in the project files, we're going to have the project files complete. This includes the completed Houdini file with all the digital assets and with the uh, exported high field and color map. So if you open this up, you will have this file, which I've just walked through to kind of use as a reference. And then in project files, we have a starting Houdini file for you to use that will have the this landscape in it ready to be used. This will be your starting point that we'll build upon. And then also in the Unreal project files, 
I have some files to have us get started. So I have some material functions which we'll be using um, a starting level for us to work in, and then also a digital asset which we'll be using to load in the height field into Unreal. I'll be explaining um, all of these starting files so you'll know what you'll be using and kind of how, how they were created. So whilst they will be helping us, you will I'll be going through everything that you need to know. So load up this file and you'll be ready to get started. <laughs> 